Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy. Uh, last time in Pokemon Blue we got into Mount Moon, but we didn't really have enough time to fully... I mean, I'll, I'll not beat it, but get to the end of it, so that's what we'll be doing. And it shouldn't take too long. Hold on, who's this old boy? Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. That sounds like a really bad... No, I won't go there. I always seem to come up with pedophile jokes. It's not good. They're not, they're not funny. They're just quite... Quite not good. Alright, so here we have Eraticate. Which... The design of Eraticate... Oh, God. That really hit hard. Shoot, I have to change that. Shoot. Yeah, the design of Eraticate is really all over the place with these original games. I don't think they could quite decide on how menacing they wanted Raticate to be. Like, this version of it isn't that menacing, because it just looks really dumb. It's just got his mouth open, like, ah, And that's not menacing. Oh, God, Hyperfang. God, oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to take this thing out. I just, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it. Okay, so Buzzington needs to get a good amount of hits here, here. God, I forgot how powerful Raticate was. And I forgot how having four Pokemon makes you really underleveled. These are things that I forgot. God. Oh god. Oh. Alright, well, Quiro, let's see what you can do. You're dead. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Oh no. Okay, it's all up to St. Awesome. But I don't want St. Awesome to win now. Because if he does, he's going to get even more XP and he's going to be even more overleveled. And that's just not right. Although, again, I don't want St. Awesome to die because that's a nut hole of a headache. God, Raticate is so powerful. Just so powerful. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Hmm. That's not... Okay, there's Water Gun. I guess that's pretty cool. See, that rocket. I'm steamed. Well, were you some uh, broccoli or something? <laughs> ah, just some good-natured jokes. Uh, Pokemon lived here long before people came. Why would a Team Rocket Grant give a ch- We just- he was He's evil. Enough of you up. Yeah, you look away in shame. You know what you did. Right, anyway, so... That's awkward, so now I'm going to go back and heal, and also I'm going to do a bit of leveling just to make sure my squad can survive, you know, because they're all dead and level 12, so um, yeah, I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, when I said I'd do some leveling, I didn't really do that much, you know, I got them all to level 13, which isn't really that much because when I play Pokemon, I do a lot of grinding, because that's just how I play JRPGs. But I didn't want to be doing that much grinding in the Let's Play. So, you know, in general, even off screen, I don't want to have to do that much until Victory Road. So that's why I didn't... I If I was playing this by myself, I probably would have grind, um, grinded a bit more and got them to level 15, something like that. But, you know, that's a bit boring. I want to show some of the process of me playing Pokemon. And, you know, the only reason I messed up is because that Raticate was so strong! It's so strong! Well, the only reason I messed up is because I chose to have four Pokemon straight away, like a not smart person, you know? So the odd thing about this Mount Moon is that this is your first encounter with Team Rocket, and it's a, it's a bit uneventful, really. Like, you just see some guys who are looking a bit shady, and then they just mention that Team Rocket's pretty cool. And then you're just like, well, I guess I'll have to take your word for it. And then they don't really do that much stuff, really. They're just apparently here to find fossils. Which is cool, I guess, but I didn't know Mount Moon was all about... is meant to be like a historic site. I mean, it's called Mount Moon. I always thought of it as the place where fairies hang out, and it's all about the moon. But apparently this is all about... supposed to be like... Oh, ancient stuff is buried here, but I don't know. Never really got that impression. Never even really thought about it, if I'm being honest, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, I have to tell you, Fury Attack with Buzzington is pretty good. It's a pretty damn good attack. Like, these two bats do a surprising amount of damage to Buzzington. You know, the fully evolved Buzzington. Oh, come on. That should have died. So that should have passed away then. 
Right, this better work. Because I don't want to have to go back and heal again. There we go. There we that's what I want to see. Oh, now I'm mad. Let's see if this rocket's going to give us a handy hint. You made me mad! Team Rocket will blacklist you! Oh, wow. I mean, that does kind of pretty much happen, because everyone does seem to hate me or the character after this. Well, oh, I'll just be walking along here and then run into a Clefairy. Huh. That's very lucky in a weird kind of way, but I don't want a Clefairy. I don't want your bloody flairy <laughs> fairy types. I found these fossils, they're both mine. But then don't display them like that. Don't put them out on display, just pocket on them and get out of there. Bloody super nerd. This guy's such a big nerd. I don't know why they had to call him a super nerd. Like, he could have just been a nerd, you know? Like, you, you get it, he's got the glasses, he's, you know, be like, Oh, my fossils, oh, i got a Grimer, it's my only friend. You know, you didn't have to put super nerd in front of it. Like, lass, you get what's going on with lass, you don't, it's not super lass, or super youngster, or super bug catcher. Oh no, disabled is tackled. Okay, so Grimer, that Grimer can be a bit of a pain, but not for this guy, not for, not for me. But this is the Pokemon I was worried about, because I don't have anything that's good against electric types. Which is gonna make doing the bloody, um, third gym a massive pain in the arse and a massive headache. But I don't have anything good you know, against electric. And, um, Squirtle, or Saint Awesome, is weak against electric. And so is Quiro. So, yeah, I'm a bit screwed, but that Voltorb was pretty terrible. Poison Sting, yay! I guess. Uh, yes, I will switch. I think Quiro can get the job done here. And you'll notice that for some reason, the eyes are upside down. Like, playing on a small Game Boy screen, I never really took a close look at this coffin sprite. But as you can see, because I could never see his mouth. But playing it now and seeing it on YouTube and all that, uh, yeah, it's his, it's his upside down for some reason. But I assumed back in the day that he was just upside down on purpose, like it was just a coffin being playful and being upside down for a laugh, but no, the sprite is actually wrong, as you can see his mouth. Now, I'm not going to lie there, I noticed that because of Did You Know Gaming. Uh, I did watch the Pokemon episode of that, because I do quite like those guys, and they do come up with some interesting stuff, so if I do come up with any other fun facts about Pokemon, I will quote them if I quote them. We'll each take one. No, no being greedy. Why did why did he have a change of heart just because I beat him up? All uh, right, so I can't remember which one is which. I think this is the water type one, although I honestly have no idea. All right, then this is mine. I think those fossils are there to really reinforce the idea of uh, you need to play red and blue to collect them all. You know, like they make you do a choice with the starters. And then they make you do a choice with the fossils for no real reason. So it's kind of annoying. Right, I think there's an item here. Where is it? No, maybe it's not there. I think the graphics are a bit messed up here. Like, I'm pretty sure there was no white bits. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's supposed to be flowers here. So I apologise for that, I didn't quite realise. But yeah, there's meant to be... There we go, these flowers were meant to be up there and then an item is hidden there. I don't know where all the hidden items are, because I never use the item finder, I just find it quite pointless. And it's just boring walking around trying to find items. Ooh, item. So I used to go around just tapping A all the time, and I found a lot of items because of that. Okay, so I can't go really talk to her, I don't need to, but... Let's just head straight to the Pokemon Center. Because we finally made it to the big city. As a kid, it was always really rewarding, or it was always a good feeling finally getting here. Because Mount Moon was such a pain. As a kid, I didn't bother to remember the precise route, but so when I was younger, I used to play Pokemon just over and over again. Like, I only beat it, like, once, because I would just start a new save file. Just delete my old one, start a new one, try a different starter, and then mix it all up. Okay, so now we have a battle against a certain someone. 
and I think we might not do well at it, so... Actually, shoot. Let's put Nilla Ran out with Gran. Nilla Y Ran. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna walk up here. Oh, trees, they look nice. Uh, is that... Oh, no! Gaza! Yo, Tom! You're still struggling. I am a little bit, I will admit. I'm doing great work. Okay, fine, I'm happy for you. I'm not. It's not my fault, I'm not good at this game. Alright, let's give this a go. Because this battle also f falls into the category of battles that are hard because you're at the beginning of the game and they're just harder. Like, this game has a weird difficulty curve where it get it starts off pretty difficult, then it gets easy, and then towards the end, from about Sabrina onwards, it then gets hard again. Okay, so this thing... I think I might try and poison it. I think that might be my best chance here. Although poison doesn't do that much, so maybe it's not. Great! Great! Alright. I want to keep Nidorai Ran in the game, so I'm going to heal. Probably a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just going to have to attack it. Let's just use one attack. Yep, I know that was going to happen. Shoot. Saint Awesome! you got to get it done. you got to get it done, Saint Awesome. Wrong button. Meant to use water gun. Oh. Okay, so I think Pidgeotto is actually his highest level Pokemon. If my memory serves me correctly, I think that's true. Oh, I really hope it's true, because otherwise I'm screwed. I just can't do that much damage to this thing. Just Pidgeotto has just got such high attack. Oh, and a critical hit. Oh, okay. Oh, and I missed. Okay. This is all very fair, and I am not... Oh. Not even mad. Not even mad. Well, there goes Saint Awesome. Awesome. Right, well, Buzzington will just be a death trap. I was trying to save Quiro because I need Quiro for later on. And I cannot get whited out by this Pidgeotto. I just can't let it happen. I just can't let it happen. I just... Level 18. i just so underleveled. Well, Buzzington! Yay! Get it done! Quick attack! Yay! This is going so well. Come on, please. Please. I, this battle can't be for nothing. There we go. At least something got accomplished. Buzzington got a level up. That's okay with me. That totally counts. Well, I would love to switch Pokemon, but I'm afraid that would be an entirely pointless task. Right, so this Abra is pretty much free XP, which is pretty cool. And also, because it just uses Teleport, it can't attack you, it has no attacks. Uh, it's going to become a real pain in the ass later on down the road, but for the moment it's fine. So I'm just going to use that time to heal up. Because if I had any revives, I would have used them to get back some of my Pokemon, but I don't, so... Here we all are. I'm not too sure what... I can't quite remember what Abra is supposed to be based on. I think Abra is meant to be like an armadillo without his shell. I know that makes me sound like a crazy person saying that, but I think that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so Fury Attack. No point using Poison Sting, I just gotta try and do as much damage as I can and hope that that works out. Hyper Fang, oh. That's bollocks! That Raticate didn't do that much damage with a Hyper Fang, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's bollocks too. I get a critical hit and then I only hit twice. Yeah, am I great or what? Yeah, you're pretty good. Can't argue with that. I can't argue with those facts. Okay, well, hmm, what to do, what to do. I guess I just have to try again. I guess I just have to try again. Right, so Nidoran would have done okay. Hmm, I might need all my Pokemon at level 15. Is that bloody Pidgeotto? That's the only problem here. I Otherwise, I would be absolutely fine, but that bloody Pidgeotto. Oh, and no, I'm going to do a tiny bit more leveling. <laughs> Because I have to! That bloody Pidgeotto is a wall. It's a complete wall. So I'm going to get all my guys up to level 15, so um, I will be right back when I will rematch Gaza. Okay, so now that that is done, there we go, all level 15. I'm going to stick with Nidoiran, because I think that's a solid choice, I think. 
Although I want Nino Iran to level up, so let's instead go for Quiro, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. And also, in case you're wondering, I do use the fast forward feature when I level up, but. You know, oh, I haven't had the fast forward fe feature in most of my Pokemon LPs, alright? So, I have done a lot of grinding, so I think it's okay for me to do a bit of cheating when it comes to being off screen. Because I won't be using the fast forward feature ever on the actual LP, I think that kind of breaks the illusion a bit. Um, alright, so Quiro. I think the best thing. I've got to start off with a Leer. I'm just going to have to take this thing down. And it's too early in the game for me to have any, like, um. You know, any decent attacks. Like, any, um, paral. I can't paralyze it, I'll put it to sleep. Because I didn't pick Bulbasaur. Right. Nido Iran, here we go. Right. So, it's already been hit by a Leer. And I am one level stronger, so this sh oh it oh it missed. Okay, fine, that's absolutely fine. Can't argue with that. Critical hit! Can't argue with that either, that's just fair. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. I need some critical hits here. Great. Great. God, this Pidgeotto stinks. Okay, I I don't know how much water's going to do. It's it's just it's just, I don't have anything super effective against it. This is the reason why you get a Pikachu or something like that. Or you just level up one sort of type of Pokemon. The game is so designed around having having one Pokemon and leveling it up. It's, it's bizarre. Okay, come on, St. Awesome. Hang in there. What to do? I really don't want St. Awesome to die. Let's use a potion. Okay, this isn't going to help anyway. Oh, it's so bloody annoying, this thing! Right. Oh, This is the worst. It's actually the worst. Alright, well let's just use Buzzington again. I tell you, it's a wall! This thing's a wall! Even my Pokemon leveled up. It's just a wall of annoyance. Oh, Fury Attack missed. Didn't even use a Sand Attack on me twice. Fury Attack missed twice. That's... Very fair, and I can't, I don't even have an argument why that isn't fair. Okay, well, I think this might be a repeat of the last time, which isn't good. No, I won't switch out because I can't. Uh, I'll use a Fury attack. How many potions do I have? Because I don't think I have enough. I don't even know how strong this Bulbasaur is going to be. Oh, don't. Okay, good. I was worried that I was accidentally going to kill it. I should not be having this much trouble. I should not be having this much trouble. I completely screwed myself over by having four Pokemon. Completely screwed myself over. I should stop repeating the last thing I say. The last thing I say. Okay, Buzzington's level 16. That's good. That's not so good. Honestly, don't care. Uh, Rattata. Well, let's keep it going. I just... There's nothing else I can do apart from what I did last time. Just keep using Fury Attack. It missed again! This is stupid. This is stupid. It's not justifiable. Fury Attack should not miss this much. I've had it miss five times. I think. Ah, well, dead again. That's fair. No, it's completely fair. I can't even argue with that. Oh, this is frustrating. This is super frustrating. That stupid Pidgeotto! That bird prick! I just can't get past it without it wiping out my Pokémon. Because it's super overpowered. So, oh, I, I, just because I didn't want a Pikachu, I'm now screwed. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to end up the part. So next time I'm going to play Pokémon Blue, I'm going to calm down. And I'm going to beat Gaza! right in his stupid face. I think I'm going to have to do a bit more levelling, something like that, but I can't level up Nidoiran anymore. You know what? Screw it. If that's the way the game wants to play it, if they're not going to let me have my moment, I'm just going to do it right now. Because I need him at level 16. Because Nidoiran's really good. But against that Pidgeotto, it's just unfair. So, I'm just going to go into the grass, and we're just going to level it up now. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I feel is fair. Ratata, whatever, I'm just going to kill it with this one. Because at level 16 it evolves, so, you know. A, an evolved Nidoiran should definitely be able to take out that Pidgeotto by itself, you know. 
It's still kind of unbelievable that bloody Saint Awesome couldn't take it out. Like, Squirtle is good, but, you know, Charmander is kind of better in certain regards, and uh, Charmander is better at going up against types that it's not super effective against. So that's why Charmander is a solid choice, you know, as long as you can get past the first two gyms by just being smart, then Charmander is a better choice. But I just like Squirtle more. But I didn't realise it was just going to have such a hard time. Like, I always thought Squirtle was really defensive. But not up against that Pidgeotto. No, Pidgeotto doesn't even care. Does not even care. Right, so I don't know how much more XP I need. Well, hey, this is where I leveled up. So at least I'm showing that off. This is where I did my leveling off screen. And then in this grass you can catch Gratita, Spearow and Sandshrew. And I really considered getting a Sandshrew. Like, I really considered it because I think Sandshrew are awesome. Like, they look really cool. There's just something about them that Sandshrew are just badass and cool. But, again, I just can't catch another Pokemon at this point. You know, I'm being screwed over by having four. If I had a fifth into the mix, then I'm just done. Although getting a Sandshrew is really useful for going up against um, the third gym, so... But I can't catch a... Oh, I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I stink. Alright, this should be enough. No? Okay. This next one should be enough. Ah, straight away, nice. So in case you're wondering, uh, in Pokemon Red in this grass you can catch Ekans, but in Pokemon Blue you can catch Sandshrew, so... Score one for Pokemon Blue, because Sandshrew just is ten times cooler than Ekans, I mean it's not even close. Look at him, he's adorable with his little hands. I'm just not a big fan of Sand Slash, because Sandshrew is so much cooler than Sand Slash that... You know, I like Sandshrew, look at him! With his little nose, little ears, little eyes. Little everything. Little tail. Although he's got a big tail. Come on. Right, now this should be enough XP. I, okay, well... I've dragged this episode out way too long now. Way too long. But this is what the game... The game challenged me. The game was like, right, here's a Pidgeotto. As the first Pokemon you need to take. It challenged me. So I feel like I have to stand up against this evil game. This tyrant. And not let it, you know, prove that I can do this without, whatever, picking a Pikachu. Screw Pikachu, electric idiot. I want Nido Iran to get the job done, and I know it can, alright? So this is what you get. Level 16. Nice, there we go. I knew it was soon. What? Nido Iran is evolving? This is crazy stuff. And I'm ending the part on a more positive note. Let's not think it, think of it as, I have lost twice. Let's think of it as I evolved a Pokemon. So, anyway, next time in Pokemon Blue, we will take on Gazer again and win this time. Maybe. So, I've been Arsenal23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.